from the very beginning, starting with Abel to Jesus Christ and all the way to the end times in which we live in now. Satan has been going day and night before God, who's our Father, making accusations, condemnations against us, God's anointed, His workmanship. And we can prove it here in Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. Verse 10, And I heard a great voice in heaven say, Now has come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of His Christ, because the accuser of our brethren has been cast down, who accuses them day and night before our God. Two questions we need answered. Why does God allow Satan to accuse us? And how does this work, this process, how is it accomplished? Because there are thousands of accusations coming up before the throne of God day and night, day and night, day and night against the brethren. Let's go to the book of Job because it also happened to Job. Satan accused him. His friends accused him. Everybody was against him. And this is an example of us, what we have to go through. Job chapter 1 verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. As we're reading this, remember, Satan is a great red dragon, and his name used to be Lucifer, and his job used to be as the covering cherub on God's throne. Now he's Satan the devil, our accuser. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? And then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and turns away from evil? And Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, and around his house, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But put forth your hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. Satan was accusing Job that he'll fail. And was he right? Did Job curse God to his face? No. Even though Job was broken, he didn't do it. So there's an example of an accusation by Satan and he was wrong, dead wrong. That answers these two questions we had. God used the situation, and in the end, he taught Job a very big lesson, and he used as a tool Satan, the accuser, to accomplish this. Philippians 1 verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. God is our potter, and he's shaping us right now. We're his work in progress. And what Satan does is he comes day and night criticizing each piece of artwork that we are. And he's trying to tell God he's never going to complete us. That we're faulty and we're always going to have flaws. And No, we should never believe that. Satan is against the harvest of souls. That's why he accuses us. Now what happens when we accuse the brethren? That means we're putting on Satan's role, which is something we don't want to do. And it's easy to do because we can do it in our thoughts, in our prayers. When, when we go to God, we need to be repentful. We need to be asking for God's mercy and not accusing the brethren. Second Peter chapter 2 says, Not even the holy angels bring condemning accusations against mankind because they know what work they're in, the harvest of souls. Zechariah 3 verse 1 And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said to Satan, May the Lord rebuke you, Satan. May even the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not the brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed in filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take the filthy garments from off him. And to him he said, Behold, I have caused your iniquity to pass from you, and I will clothe you with ceremonial robes. And God also takes someone like Laodicea, who is filthy, and he changes him, because God sees the end result. Satan only sees the old man. 
and all the 144,000 on white horses with white robes on, they all once had filthy garments. So remember, they try to accuse Jesus who was pure and innocent. So when Satan comes after you, you have Christ in your heart, the rock of our foundation. So it's like accusing Jesus because we're the new creation. And that's the only way we'll be completed and make it to the kingdom by having Christ in us. Simulation complete.